What's up, y'all? You know what time it is. Reaction video. Fall in love with me. I introduce her to the game and let her thug with me. She be like Bunny and Clyde. She even clutching me. I feel like it's you or die. She give her soul to me. She want to be close to me. Oh, she say she fuck with me the long way. She say she gon' run my back. I had a long day. She say, baby, I ain't gon' lead you down the wrong way. Okay, so I'm gonna try to knock this out real quick, right fast, before my neighbors uh come come back. So everybody's distracted by the Texans game right now. So you know the Texans and the Colts is playing. So therefore, it's a little quiet, okay? Cause everybody watching the game. So I'm like, let me sneak a video in there real quick. Let me get a reaction video in there, cause I don't know what my schedule gonna look like next week. So let me let me go ahead. And I have put this compilation together. It's real quick, real fast, but it is hilariously fucking funny. It it is hilariously the fuck funny. So I was like, I gotta do this. I I gotta do this. Um, but again, if you hear any loud noises in the back, know that I live in the ghetto. Okay, you have met my neighbors. I am right here by the parking lot. Okay, so you may hear some cars and some honking and some dogs and all that shit that happens in the ghetto. Okay. So now that we got the pleasantries out the way, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's make sure we're recording. Bow. And, okay. I'm not going to record you. Go to your own phone. He's trying to sell my money off the of things. <laughs> prepaid. Now, I done seen these, but it's like every time I see it, it's always like I hadn't seen it before. Nick. <laughs> Boy, you white people got some audacity and balls on y'all. Did you really just take this woman's gas? Did you really just pull up to the point to the pump and take this lady's gas? With 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 the work truck. With the motherfucking work truck. So you just have no regard at all. You know what? I don't know. My bigness is who he works for. We ain't out the way before I smash it. Not before I smash it. Let me tell you something. 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 Ain't no way. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. It ain't no way you finna pull up on my. Do y'all know how high gas is right now? Gas is higher than giraffe pussy. It ain't no way you finna walk up to my pump and I done paid for my high ass gas and you gonna put it in your truck. And then you gonna tell me to move my hand out the way? Baby, you wouldn't have even made it to the pump. Y'all better get y'all grandpa, cause baby, he would have been laid out. You lucky if I don't pull this gasoline on you. Hmm? You would have been laid the fuck out. That has got to be the rudest, most disrespectful shit I have ever fucking seen, sir. We are in a recession, okay? Ain't nobody got time to be wasting no pennies. If you don't take that motherfucking work truck and they can see you doing this in your work truck, you think you're going to keep your job? Like, nigga, did you just... I would have broke every fucking finger on his hand. I would have literally broke him in two. Sir, if you don't get your old ass the fuck away from this gas pump playing with me in my pockets, Lord. Especially now at a time where I ain't got no job. Baby, that would have been it. That would have been it. She she was so calm about it. She was she was so calm about it. Like she was way more calm than I would have been. Cause it would have been a fight. Nigga, it's gonna be gasoline. Everybody everybody run, cause this motherfucker might blow up. It's going to be a whole situation because you're not going to pull up to my shit, grab my pump, bring it to your truck, and sit there and pump the gas? You wouldn't, even if you get to your car or your truck, put the thing in there to release it and let the gasoline in. No, no, sir. I would have pushed your, I'm talking about like Push. When I say push, he would have flew across the parking lot, took that shit right the fuck out, and put it in my car. It wouldn't even got that far with me. Fuck the recording shit. No, nigga, we finna get into some gangster shit over some gas because, baby, gas too motherfucking out to be playing with my goddamn emotions like that. And I ain't got no money. And you got the nerve to, to, to have racial slurs and shit. Why you doing calling me a black bitch? You wouldn't even been able to get that out your mouth. It would have had too much blood in it. 
playing with me. Y'all better get y'all grandpa out here being disrespectful. Nigga, got me. Police were called on a man for being too black to water flowers. What you doing here, man? Water flowers. You live here? No, I don't live here. Okay. You're not supposed to be Who's here. Saying it? They called about it. I don't know who called. I'm supposed to be here. I'm Pastor Jennings. I live across the street. You're Pastor Jennings? <laughs> Y'all know this is a black shit. For my old black southerners that's watching this shit right here. Y'all know this is a black shit. Pastor Jennings is definitely watering the flowers of the neighborhood while they are out of town. Okay? That's the kind of shit they do in Louisiana where my granny grew up. Now, in Herm Clark, oh, I'm going to pull the camera down a little bit. Oh, got to watch the boobs. Now, in Herm Clark, you might get a crackhead that's watering your flowers, but this is the type of shit they do in the South. This is some Southern, black, authentic shit right here. This man is, what that is Pastor Jennings. Okay, Pastor Jennings is watering the flowers. And you come fucking with the pastor, why? I... Yes, I'm looking out for their house while they go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's cool. Now, do you have like ID? And I don't know, man. I'm not gonna be in no ID. Why not? Don't need no ID. Well, you look, you, there's a suspicious person in the yard, and if you're not one to identify yourself, I don't have to identify myself. I live right over there across the street. Who calls y'all? That's what we got to figure out. You have no right to approach me if I ain't did nothing suspicious or nothing wrong. Because a man, an old black man with a water hose watering flowers is suspicious hmm let me break into this house but before i go let me water the flowers because i got time nigga what <laughs> yeah. told him i'm a pastor i'm not showing y'all anything i'm gonna continue well, to water these flowers and he he we got one that's not listening to. Well, I'm not, I don't want to argue with you, okay? Yeah. Right, go ahead and do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. You have to identify yourself to me. I you don't, understand what no, I'm telling no. you? Okay, does he have permission here? See, hold on. Before Karen walk her ass up in this video, um, they going to hell. God said, do not touch my anointed. <laughs> God said, do not touch my anointed. Of all the people, y'all going to fuck with the pastor? The pastor ain't got to have no ID. That's Pastor Jennings. That's his ID. He told you who he was. Now you finna have a whole neighborhood in uproar. His whole congregation coming for y'all. Why is you playing with the pastor like that? And he's so cool with it. He like, I don't do what you got to do. Because he already know what's up. Like, he already know what's about to happen. So it's like, okay, go ahead, do what you going to do. Do what you gonna do. I ain't even sweating it because I already know what's gonna happen after this. Why are they doing that? Here to be watering flowers. They are friends. Okay. And he went out of town today. So right. He may be watering their flowers. Okay. It'd be completely normal. We're here okay. because we called you. I don't know who exactly. called, but somebody did. Thanks. So, wait a minute. Y'all wait. Y'all needed her to validate that because she white? So because the white lady said they friends is completely normal, then everything's good now. Like, we're, we're fine. Okay, you know, the white lady has let us know. So therefore, he's not doing anything suspicious because we have a white lady and we can trust her. So we know she's telling the truth. He is just watering the flowers for his friends. If y'all don't get y'all motherfucking asses on somewhere with that bullshit. Y'all in this situation, we're totally wrong. Yeah, I told okay. you I was here watering the flowers. How do I know that's the truth? Anybody I had the water hose in my hand, I was Anybody watering the flowers. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It was the ending for me. How do I know that? Because I had the water hose in my hand. When you walked up, I had the water hose. You was talking, I had the water hose. I'm still watering the flowers. Y'all stop me from watering the flowers when y'all put me in handcuffs. What you mean, how you know? You just saw me. Like, I love his humor in the situation. Like, I love old black people, I swear. Like, that southern humor, I had to. I was like, bruh. I gotta react to this. Cause this some shit, this is some shit 
that black people do. They water other folks' flowers. They go check on the house. They feed the pets. They take care of the animals. They gonna watch your house and make sure your shit good. Hell, my neighbors do that. <laughs> like, come on, bro. This is what, clearly y'all don't know the code because this is what we do. We look out for each other when we go out of town and shit. Like, it was the last. <laughs> he was like, because at this point, I can't take you seriously. Nigga, I had the water hose in my hand. <laughs> now he pissed off because he can't finish watering the flowers. Like, he was very dedicated to watering them goddamn flowers. He didn't stop watering them bitches when y'all walked up. He was very, he got, I got to water these flowers. Not going on. <laughs> going on with that shit. I'm trying to water these flowers. It's a blessing that no one got hurt. A shocking display at South Shore Plaza. She literally had to drive from all the way down there to over here. This Lincoln MKX making it 60 yards into the second floor of the mall. It was crazy. We've had tons of incidents at this mall, like shootings and whatever, but I've never seen a, a car come in here. Hold on. Because this shit was funny when I saw it too. I got questions. For what? Where is your children? <laughs> You ain't got no kids, no grandkids, no 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 cousins, no nieces, no nothing that's going to drive for you. Like, my granddad's 76 years old, okay? Ain't no way in hell I'm going to let her. First of all, my granddad don't drive nowhere she don't know. If it ain't to work or to the grocery store, she ain't going. She Somebody going to have to drive her because she don't do malls and all. She don't even like going nowhere. But if she just got to go, we have to drive her because if she don't know the route, like her job, grocery store, pharmacy, doctor's office, that's it. She ain't going nowhere else. And my granny can actually drive. She's 76 and look like she all of 55. Because y'all know black don't crack. And I'm mad. I got my daddy's jeans. I don't have day jeans. I don't crack either, but yeah, we ain't going to get into that. <laughs> but it ain't no way it's no way lady and why are you even trying to get to the apple store what's at the apple store for you like do you have an iphone or what do you need such iphone for like you too old to be not only driving driving to the mall and you trying to get to the apple store i am 30 years old and i don't go to the apple store i don't like the mall either because it's too many humans i don't if I ain't got to go, what you going for at 78 years old? You trying to get to the Apple stuff? This lady in the drove for... Apparently someone out there, she'd ask for directions to the Apple store. They were like, it's inside, and then she, she drove inside. inside. I pushed my she granddaughters up against the wall, and I moved, and I stopped her, and she says, do you know how to get out of here? And I said, stay right here, I'll get somebody. The car was able to drive through sensor doors connected to a parking but garage after Braintree question. police like, say safety barricades there? were missing due to a recent accident. The driver of that car taking this route, making a left turn before stopping in front of a clothing store. Several witnesses say the driver was an elderly woman. She I obviously was having an issue, whether it be heat, age, whatever. Police they say they did age. transport they the driver to the heat. hospital for observations and are requesting their license be suspended. I'm requesting? More like demanding, like give me your license. It's revoked, lady. You drove into the mall, okay? Like my thing is, I gotta give it to her though. I gotta give her respect because not only did she drive. Sorry, y'all. I still got the game playing, and these motherfuckers is tired. I cannot believe that was a cold motherfucking comeback for the Colts. And I don't even watch football, but the Texans was kicking their ass, and it's 2020 now. I'm going to call my mom. My mom was a Colts fan. I'm about to call. I want to almost damn near pause this video just so she can see this shit. Hold on. I got the. Y'all got to. Hold on. Let's call my mom real quick. She going to be mad I'm calling her at the end of the game. Watch this. Hold on. Quick, quick switcher. Wait to answer this phone. Hello. Hello. Yeah. You still watching the game? Mm -mm. You ain't watching the game? No, they were losing when I fell asleep. Shit, you missed it because they made a cold ass comeback. It's 2020 now. Okay. 
I was, man, I was getting ready to talk so much shit when this game was over because your team was losing so bad, and they are definitely tied with 19 seconds left. I guess some oh, somebody must have got cussed out during halftime. Huh? She ain't got my glasses on. Hold on, I can't. I'm trying to see. Hold on. Because I got it on mute because I was recording. You ain't got it on the TV? I think Indiana got the ball. Uh, Indianapolis got the ball. Nah, Texas got the ball. Yeah, the Texans got the ball on first and ten. That is a fine coach. Jesus. That is crazy. Like, I literally been sitting here the whole time. I look up and the score tied. Yeah, that's why I'm like, you miss some fan you are. If they lose it, you still ain't supposed to go to sleep. Man, you ain't no real fan. You need to you need to keep that Cowboys energy. You need to get some of that Dallas Cowboys energy. Well, it's it's getting close. Oh, they say it's, I'm, I think the the closed caption saying it's going into overtime because I had to mute it. Well, you might want to wake up and cut it on. It's getting a little interesting. Okay. I probably had to cut a piece of the end of the conversation off because my mama was still talking about some shit that don't belong on YouTube. But that Dallas Cowboys comment was funny to the bitch. She ain't lying. The motherfuckers are some diehard ass fans. Like, I want people to love me the way Dallas Cowboy fans love the Cowboys. Like, I want that kind of love in my life. I want that kind of loyalty and dedication in my life. That's it. That's all I want. That's all I want. But anyway, back to back to grandma over here. I gotta give her her respect because the fact that she was able to make it through the doors, around the corner, and not hit nothing, like she even had enough precision to fit through the doors. Around the corner, she ain't hit nobody, nothing. She's probably driving slow as hell. She ain't hit none of them trash cans in the middle. Y'all know they had the trash cans in the middle of the motherfucking hallway to block the shit off. Luckily, she wasn't at the part of the mall where they had a little booth and shit selling uh, phone cases and fake-ass jewelry in the middle of the goddamn mall. And she was smart enough to bust that turn and then stop at Tory. Because I think something in her mind said, hold up, I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. Not my car. I think my car is supposed to be parked outside. Like, why would you... <laughs> Who does shit like this? Like, I'm just happy no one was hurt. Revolt. Um, like, thankfully, everyone cleared out of her way. Snatch her motherfucking life. No charges have been filed against the driver. Authorities say well, those missing that. barricades have already been rescheduled to be replaced. Shit, I bet. They ain't got no goddamn choice. Hell. <laughs> no, don't find no charges against that lady. That lady's seven, eight years old. Just, just leave her be. She didn't hurt nobody. She didn't mean to. She probably got dementia. She probably don't know where the fuck she at, where the fuck she going. She probably know why she went to the Apple Store. The fact that she even know what an Apple Store is to ask somebody how to get to the Apple Store is I got questions because my granny don't know shit about no Apple, no store, no iPhone, no none of that. She got an old ass fucking Android we had to force her to get because she did not want to get rid of her flip phone. Like, it ain't it ain't no way. It ain't no way. I hate when I see old people driving on the street. Like, I'm like, can y'all please take their license? Like, I feel like at some age, your license should be taken or you have to retest to see if you're even capable of still being able to drive. Because like, say for instance, my grandma, like I don't want her license to be taken because then I, I gotta drive her everywhere and we gotta drive her everywhere and she could still drive. Like she still got a job. So I feel like they should have like a little old people's driving test where they figure out if you could just get from point A to point B real quick like you know make sure ain't no issues no dimension no none of that but if it is we got to take your shit now if you up in age and you in your 80s and shit then no your shit automatically needs to be taken because 
you ain't going no motherfucking where. You ain't going no motherfucking where. Like, if my granny retire, then I feel like, okay, I could probably drive her where she needs to go. But you ain't going nowhere. And y'all drive slow. It's dangerous as hell. And then I hate when I cuss and shit because the driver in front of me going slow. And then I go around and it's an old ass person. I'll be like, ah, fuck. My bad. Because I respect my elders so much. So it's like, ooh, they old. I, I. <laughs> my neighbor started to come in. So at least I made it 20 good goddamn minutes. Boy, that shit was funny as hell. I had to bring y'all that shit. I, sent me fucking sent me the first one sent me and pissed me off at the same time but the other two it was just more funny than anything and i was like i'm dying laughing i gotta make my viewers die laugh at this shit too you probably haven't seen the videos but you ain't seen it with me so it's even better with me okay now they about to go into overtime so i got to see who gonna win this game and i don't even fuck with football like that but i like shit like this dad and i like fucking with my mama so until the next video i will see y'all later Bye.